Hey there, and welcome to Facial Features Section 6. This is uh, Working on the Nose. And with this, we've just got one image, and uh, we're going to just talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing here. Um, noses are pretty simple. Like, <laughs> you're only going to run into a couple of issues here, and uh, the biggest issue you're going to uh, run into is, like, straightening up the nose. So that's what we're going to focus on right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring a guide from the left to the right to kind of get an idea of um, where the nose might be centered. Um, and with this, you can see that the nose is kind of like leaning off to the left a little bit there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create, basically, we're just going to be pushing this nose um, over here to the right and straightening it up a little bit. And we're going to do that using the liquify tool. All right, so let's go ahead and remove our guides. I'm going to duplicate our background layer. There we go. And I'm going to make a selection around the area that we wish to adjust. And we're going to go to filter down here to liquify. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom out. It doesn't help to be zoomed in here because I really wanna work with like symmetry and shape and things like that and being zoomed out just helps. Okay, now I'm gonna choose a large brush here and basically just start with the bottom and start moving this nose to the right a little bit, just little by little until we get something that's a little bit more straight on. And it shouldn't take a lot, guys. All right, that's actually looking quite a bit better already. Next, I'm gonna make the brush a little bit smaller and we're just gonna pull the nose in just a little bit there. All right, let's pull it out at the bridge just a little bit, just making it nice and even and symmetrical. All right, there we go. And we'll pull that out just a little bit there as well. All right, push that up and that one too. All right, that looks pretty good. We still need to bring the bulb of the nose to the right just a little bit. All right. Cool, and that looks good there. Let's bring that up just a little bit. All right, there we go. So there's the before and the after. You know what? I think I adjusted that too much. Let's go back to the before hit shift command X which is the keyboard shortcut for liquify and now we're just gonna do it again because I, I went a little bit overboard that happens just get in the liquify tool and start playing around and before you know it you get a whole new person um, <laughs> there we go all right and let's hit okay there we go now this actually, you know what, that affected more than the nose. So I just want to do it again. We'll make our brush a little bit smaller this time. Start bringing these things to the right. Generally you want to choose a large brush if you can, because it's going to help move a lot at the same time and make things look a lot more fluid. But it turned out that I was moving the eyes as well, which I don't want to do. I just want to work on his nose. All right. There we go. Perfect, that looks great. All right, so you can see, sometimes it takes a couple goes. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in here, and I'm gonna use my clone stamp tool. We're gonna to take care of the highlight. This is another thing that happens quite a bit with noses. Um, we're gonna take care of the highlight using the clone stamp tool. So S for the clone stamp tool, okay? You wanna make sure you're sampling current and below here. And I'm going to change my layer blend mode from normal down to darken. All right, so we're going to sample this color, and then I'm just going to paint right over top of the bridge of the nose. Yeah, basically just sampling a different part of the face. All right, and that should help knock the highlight down just a bit. All right. Cool, and if you make any areas that you don't like, just hit E for the eraser tool and erase them. No big deal. Next, we can get rid of some of these like little pores and things like that. That can be done easily enough using our healing brush tool. So we'll go in, hold Alt or Option to sample an area, and then paint right over any little pores or imperfections or whatever you have on your nose. All right, and you don't have to make everything perfect. I mean, it's not, we don't live in a perfect world. 
Um, there we go. That looks really, really good there. Okay, very nice. Now, the last thing you may run into is a little bit of like color change in your nose. Um, so for instance, oftentimes noses will be like a little bit more red than the rest of uh, a person. So with that, we're gonna do my favorite new technique, the solid color adjustment layer. All right, we're gonna change this from normal down to color. Does it get, it really doesn't matter what color you start it with here, guys. All right, I'm gonna hit controller command I to invert. And we're gonna see if I can color the nose to match the rest of the face. I love this technique because so you can just see what you're doing. All right, color, all right. You just basically just keep moving your hue down to like where it starts matching the face. So like greens, nope. Yellows, nope. Orange, so getting closer. Too saturated. Let's bring the color right down there. All right, our hue, we're gonna have to come down a little bit more. Still too saturated, huh? Well, it's getting pretty good. All right, let's go a little bit more saturated there. Our hue coming up and down till we find just right. That looks pretty good there. All right, there we go. And choose right about the right saturation. There we go, that looks pretty good. So again, this is one of those things, it, it's gonna be different for every single image, every single face that you do, right? So next thing we're gonna do is just lower the opacity because when you color a person's face, especially like that, it's just really easy to go overboard. Plus, you can see it's coloring the shadows, the same color as the highlights, and we don't really want that. So we're just gonna lower the opacity to about 50%, and that's gonna help even out the color on the nose. All right, for that matter, we could probably just do that over his whole face and well nope does not it's definitely not gonna work because it does not look good anywhere else all right I bet it would work under his eyes though let's try on our layer mask here I'm gonna paint with white on my layer mask go under his eyes see how it's a little bit like purplish grayish paint this visible under his eyes all right and then we have nice skin tone color under the eyes instead of like purple grayish color which actually worked out really really well okay perfect let's go ahead and look at the before and the after here's our before and our after before and the after and again if any of these are like too much simply lower the opacity like this i kind of liked a little bit of shine and i liked a little bit more color there we go, before and the after. All right, looking good. And that completes section six, working with the nose.